FTV Pippa. She's got a smile on your face. Oh, Glad to see. No, I just smiling. Trust me, I'm not smiling after that game. Very disappointing. I just the thing is though, when I saw the starting lineup, I was excited for that mm. for those eleven players to be Me on the too. pitch. So I just have to question where it's all going wrong, and how the form has dipped since certain things have happened in the media. I have to question there's something going on in the back room, something going on in the changing room. Because you if, think that's had an effect then the old Ozil thing? I I have to question it because before that, we're on the back of a back end of last season, everyone was in high spirits. Abamyang was excited to sign a new contract. All of a sudden, Abamyang doesn't even look happy to be here. I might be, that might be an overstatement, but he's not scoring goals. The balls are not coming in through to him in behind or anything. And he doesn't look up for it. Lacazette was dropped after Liverpool after those two chances against Allison, And then it's expected to come back in and start scoring goals again. Yeah, he scored one, was, was disallowed for whatever reason. But these players that were on top form before all this saga happened don't seem in form anymore. And you've got to remember, these players were super close to Ozil. This is all speculation, though. Mm. I don't know what's going on, but we have to realise that it has been a drop in form. So you're linking it to that. You're linking it and saying that possibly it could be they've seen the way he's been handled and this affected their game a bit. I don't know. It's just one angle that you can look at things. I mean, Mustafi's good friends with him as well. Yeah, and so he went, he was AWOL today as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He just basically said, oh, go on, buddy. Have that, don't you? Yeah. You just go off, the, off, mm. your, off your pop, go score a goal. But yeah, I don't know what it is, but... I just think it has to be something because there's nothing wrong with that starting 11. There's nothing completely mm. wrong with that formation as well. We, he's, he's experimenting with a back four. It looked okay till David Luiz came off. I don't think there's anything wrong with the... With Look the at that team out there. Let's be real now. And you, there's no reason that that team shouldn't be doing well, shouldn't yeah. be in a, quite an attacking force. Because yeah. when you look on it on paper and you're saying, right, I'm coming up against Aubameyang, Lacazette, up front, Saka... Mm -hmm. I'm coming up against Sabayas, Thomas Partey, yeah. Gabriel, you know, Gabriel Bellerin. Yeah. You're thinking to yourself, hey, that's a, a proper team. team we yeah. But for some reason, in, in the second half, mm. they just, they, uh, and we've seen it in quite a few games with Arsenal now. We're not kicking on after that initial yeah. first half. And it's early in the seasons. It's, it's really baffling what's going on. Yeah, I don't know what's happening in the changing rooms at half time or what's going on at all. Because as you say, the, the, the game changes in the second half. And I feel like a lot of people say we're lacking new creativity, but we actually do have some creative players. And I'm not going to mention Ozil for one of them. But we've got so many options that we could use. Like, why not play Saka at a number 10 role and bring mm. Willian and Pepe on the wings in a bam through the middle? Why not put Lacazette in a number 10 role if he's not? I mean, I know he's our goal scorer, but he could play in a number 10 role as well. And there are options. We've got Reese Nelson, remember? Mm. That players that are available right now, Reese Nelson, why is he not getting the time? Because he, when we saw him in the Carabao Cup, he looks good on the left wing. Mm. So there's options, but for some reason, we're not using them. But at the same time, I have to argue against myself because the starting eleven was good enough. So, mm. But there's always ways to change it around. We have the options to do that. Six games, three defeats. Man United yeah, next. You know. Um, and it's not allowed to say uh, that. Ty, Ty says he's United are scared of us. Ty's he's going... Ty's, Ty's not normal. Ty, Ty's not normal. United, I'm scared. I'm scared of that game. I'm personally. United have been. I know the Chelsea game wasn't that wasn't a good game for them. Only getting a point, but United have been good against PSG. They were solid. They were the better team throughout the whole game. United are in good form, and you got you got Cavani that come on and for 30 seconds almost scored a solid chance against Chelsea. Do you know what I mean? So they're scared of us. Have a laugh, mate. Have a laugh. We're gonna have to. What do we need to improve? to get a result at United? At this point, I just think it's all down to morale and mentality because the, we have the players. We mm. can't question that. We wanted a midfielder, we got him. We, we wanted a solid centre-back, we got him. We wanted a top striker, we, we got him to stay. There's, we've got a spine, right? So I don't see what needs to change. It's all down to the mentality what has ever happened in, in, the, back, in the back room, that is. Masks. These are the new normal. All you want to do is get yourself an Arsenal-inspired mask and also, these masks are comfortable. Best ones I've worn, and they actually do the job. If you want to get one, the link is in the description right now. Go to maskfc.com and get 10% off.